Today, of course, is Veterans Day, and we are recognizing a Washington County man who served six and a half years in the Army. He says he wanted to find a way to give back to local veterans struggling with PTSD. Tonight, Amy Wattis shares his mission with us. <laughs> I was never really a big dog person. That was the old Omar Brooks, but that's since changed for the Army veteran who served one tour in the 3rd Infantry Division in Iraq. Brooks enlisted in the Army right out of high school in 1998, and he served until 2004. He says PTSD is something he still struggles with to this day. However, he noticed there was something that helped him cope with stress and anxiety once he met his wife, Nicole Malesic. She had a dog named Lotus, an old English bulldog. It became our dog. And slowly I started to love Lotus. And I couldn't wait to get home from work and see Lotus. So the couple decided to foster dogs when Lotus passed. And we noticed how much the dogs would help him. Um, just with your, with your overall mood, you know, he would be more calm, you're happier, they're happy to see you. So it really does help with the PTSD. Brooks wanted to share his experience with dogs with other veterans struggling with PTSD. So about a year ago, the nonprofit PA Vet Pets was born. And I said, if I can help one or two veterans a year, that's enough. And now the couple is in the process of building a physical structure from their own savings for their nonprofit in South Franklin, Washington County. PA Vet Pets teams up with local animal rescues to make pet adoptions possible for veterans struggling with PTSD in Washington and Allegheny counties. Any veteran that finds a dog out there that they want to adopt, then they can contact us and that's kind of where we would step in. PA Vet Pets raises money from local fundraising efforts to make that adoption possible. That money is going to help a veteran either cover the cost of an animal adoption or seek help with post-traumatic stress or uh, help a homeless vet find food or shelter or clothing. Since its creation, the couple says around 12 veterans reached out for help and they're hoping more people do too. I still deal with signs of PTSD. I believe the dogs have helped. And on this Veterans Day, Omar Brooks wants to let his fellow soldiers know. It's a chance for us to say thank you for your service. Thank you for your sacrifice. While the physical structure may not be finished just yet, Omar Brooks wants to reiterate that veterans with PTSD can reach out for help now. He expects this building to be completed come the spring. For any information, you can reach out on our website, kdka.com. Reporting in South Franklin, Washington County, Amy Wattis, KDK News.